was uh, I was I was, from here. Greetings. I was I was thinking that um you know there's elections headed next next month and people said it might become violent depending on who wins. So I was thinking that it's time to really move faster. But I, I was thinking uh I don't know this autonomous communities in Nigeria I don't know what people think it's for or if they think it's for uh, the traditional rulers to get money for the government or what they, th- I don't know what the people think autonomous communities means, but uh, I'm thinking it's just been too hard because over here, autonomous communities mean you're supposed to do business with other, with other countries and other tribes and other kingdoms. It's like uh, letting you, it's like letting you govern yourself uh, uh, at a local, local level. So it's like, it's like extreme local government. So I don't know what people think it is in Nigeria, but I'm seeing it moves really slow. So I don't know. Is that an is that is it an employment program? Have you heard of autonomous communities before? Of course, in Nigeria, right? Auto- autonomous community. Yes. Yeah, uh, that's one of our problems we are facing in, uh, uh, from my own local government right now. Yeah, people splitting up their, their their towns and getting staffs from uh, Nigerian government, but uh, the word autonomous community yeah. autonomous yeah. means you're supposed to manage your own your yourself. You're supposed to govern yourself. That's what autonomous means. So you're supposed to it's supposed to be like every community that receives that status is supposed to act like they're governing themselves and developing themselves. They're saying <laughs> local government can't do it. Let let yeah. me go find our own partnerships and investors. And we see uh, thousands of local government uh, autonomous communities. They're not doing any sort of international business or anything. But that's the reason you get that name. So it looks like a, a politicians and people have been miseducated. So they just, I think they just, uh, yeah. yeah, I think people just do it to get closer to the LGA chairman or something. I don't know what they're doing. So it's it's it's, mm, it's, it's uh, you know, they do it so, just to attract uh, development. Development from development. The, from the government. Yeah, they don't do international. Yeah. See, that's what I thought it was. Okay, so I was thinking we I should tell people here to talk to. Uh, have you heard of a Coro NBC? It's a TV or a Coro NBC TV. Have you heard of it? Uh oh. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, you're breaking up. I... Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, maybe it's, it, it's network. Uh, like I told you on, on Facebook, like, uh, you know, the kind of mentality our people here have. Meeting uh, the Igwe's or uh, traditional leaders as an individual, they might not take you serious. Mm-hmm. So it would be good as a, if we can get build ourselves like a group, have a uniform the organization that can approach the leaders and explain what we want and what we need from them. Mm-hmm. I think that would be more meaningful. So as well, if you I don't know if if you have any other uh, communities and local governments outside NBC that are well organized, who are ready to come down to NBC. And talk to our leaders. I can lead them along. I wouldn't mind to leave my township and go back to the village and lead them to the people they need to talk to, people who, could, who can listen to them. Well, it's, then that would be more easier. No, nah, it wouldn't be easier because we don't. NBC was supposed to be the first one. We don't have any. Uh, uh, we have there's people all the way in Niger State. That's the only one that we really have organized. Then the other one is Enri, which is supposed to be tuning in, but they haven't reached out. Uh, they haven't organized anything really. So it's been like, this has been maybe with Enri, it's been like four years. Going on five years, we've been talking to them and nothing's been organized. So we, And it, this was all on WhatsApp. So we said, let's just go to Facebook. And it's been it's just been five over, years. Over four, over four years and they're not putting on the planet in. Nothing. Because also we did, we were, we were talking to Bim Masab, and they always said they already have their own organization and blah blah blah. So, so it was just, it's just a lot of years been wasted. 
<laughs> two elections now. So uh, and actually, and that uh, that that election of Atlanta is another problem because everybody's mind and focus now is towards the election. Yeah, and then if and then if violence pops off, you never know. International people might mess up the elections, or mm-hmm. people you never know what's going to happen. So it's good to have international connections, mm-hmm. but. I'll, I'll at least I'll, I'll keep your contact and I, if people want to travel, I don't think that I don't think so at this point because I may be people in Nigeria like Borgu might want to travel. They told me they uh, Prince Yakubu wants to travel, uh, but uh, yeah, so that might happen. Nigeria, uh, Northern Nigeria, travel to Mbise to conduct some uh, meetings, but over here in USA. The, the one people that have been traveling to Anugu, they were talking about they only want to invest in Anugu, and uh, I, I, I met them through some religious stuff, so I don't even know if they like uh, tradition. I don't know what they're into. But, uh, it, it, it's okay. I, I'm going to contact people over here, and we have a lot of Igbo chiefs over here, even, in, I guess, in my family, my my dad and parents are here, so we'll we'll say I'll get leadership over here, the Afghan Americans, the Haitians, and they're gonna contact in quarter NBC, and then we'll just keep going. At least we might be, not be able to travel, but at least we'll be connected in case anything happens with the elections or going forward. Uh, but we're looking at something called the stock market. I don't know if you heard of it. But it's kind of like foreign exchange, but it's it's about owning parts of businesses and making money by trading pieces of businesses at the right time. So we're looking at that to make money and it's gonna be strictly strictly about making money to the stock market. And then maybe basketball and other businesses in a couple in, in months and years to come. But we're looking at stock market, me myself too. Okay. So that that's just it. Uh which uh, which people you say don't don't know what they're up to. Huh? Which one I don't know. Oh, can you repeat that? I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. Uh oh. Can you come again? I didn't hear what you you asked. On silent. Well, uh, we're going All into right. we're going into the stock market. Uh, some of us, so that's the groups are going to be about teaching the stocks. So I don't know if you want to be participate in that. All right. But uh, it's, we're we're going to be teaching people how to make money. Yeah. So so that's just it. Yeah. All right. I don't know if you want to invite uh, if you're interested in stock market, but we're going to try and see if we what? can do that. What did you say? I said? I said we're I said we're going to start teaching about did you this. mention of something about, about, about st- stock market. Yeah. Okay. Well uh, uh huh? Okay. I was asking which media are you going to use for this? For media, we were talking about Ikoro NBC, or if we're talking about stock market, we might use one of the Facebook groups. We might use one okay. of, we okay. might use the Facebook groups to talk about stock market, like um, okay. yeah, we might use the Facebook groups to talk about the stock market, and the the start they're letting us uh, some of these groups are letting us start radio chat. Where we just at, we could just start radio chat and phone call anytime. So it's a, it's interesting. The Facebook are turning into like radio, your own TV, or to communicate. Mm, yes. So that that's interesting. Mm, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, don't get me posted. But uh, yeah, reach out to Prince Yakubu, or we'll see about uh, you reach out to Prince Yakubu. If uh, it's about the stock market, we're going to see if we could have, we start conducting classes and learning about it. But uh, I'll try and connect you too. Okay. But Prince Yakubu is the one I have registered the business with, and he's in Niger State. So down the road, we might expand. In Niger? 
Yeah, Niger State. Uh-huh. All right. So, all right. All right. Udo. All right. All right. Thank you for the call. Thank you, brother.